Evening. Hi, how are you doing? Um, what I've got here is uh, one of my favourite sort of kits. It's the complete uh, Rogers uh, kit that I went and bought ooh, 25 odd years ago or so, uh, with the exception of the 30 uh, inch rack time, which I would have had uh, set up with this. But I've set it up in the four piece sort of configuration. Uh, basically, what we've got is a 20 by 40 inch bass drum. A 12 by 8 inch rack tom, a 16 by 16 floor tom, and a 14 by 5.5 inch uh, Rogers Dynasonic snare drum. Uh, now I've had to sort of uh, do a few little mods on it. First thing was it didn't come in this black laminate. Uh, originally it had uh, what was called a butcher's block uh, brown sort of uh, colour. Didn't pretty much like it, so uh, I covered that with uh, this uh, black laminate. That the guys at Billy Hines did for me, or this would have been about 25 years ago or so. And uh, I put a few different sort of fittings a um, Ludwig uh, modular tom mount. It's the only tom mount where the diameter tubing, which is a one inch of diameter, would perfectly fit the Rogers uh, memory lock uh, kind of mount. All the others are seven, inch, seven eighths of an inch in diameter. Uh, I still have the original floor tom legs. All the, the fittings there, the Rogers sort of fittings are still sort of working pretty remar remarkably well with it. The bass drum spurs, uh, no longer the Rogers bass drum spurs, I've put them aside and I've uh, fitted in some uh, pearl copy uh, bass drum spurs. My pedals are DWs and uh, all the other hardware is uh, Tama hardware. In fact, I've had this hardware since uh, the 1990s, basically. Uh, Tama Titan and Stilt sort of hardware. Rugged and reliable, clamps, all that sort of thing. And the other pretty interesting thing you would notice is all the nice shiny stuff, which is uh, Piesty 2000 sound reflections. Uh, just recently got uh, the uh, two crashes, which is a 60 inch uh, crash, a 80 inch power crash, and a nice 20 inch ride. Uh, did a trip up to Newcastle on the weekend and acquired those symbols. I had these for a little while now. Uh, they're the 2000 uh, top heavy hi hats. They're not the sound reflections like these ones, but they're the same series. And this was a sound reflections China many years ago, and I uh, kept on cracking it. It was a, a 40 inch mini China, small thin mini Chinas, you know, notorious for cracking. Kept it aside though, and I'm glad that I did because I ended up sort of cutting like a little splash out from it. So it's got a slightly sort of China quality, it's a little bit chimey sort of sound but it's a nice little uh, splashy sort of sound. And uh, when I get the chance to say record with this kit with these symbols, I think it will be a, a nice sounding sort of uh, set. I'd love to give a demo right now. Unfortunately, I can't because it's about 9.30. I don't think my neighbors would appreciate it after me doing a whole bunch of lessons uh, today. So, but I will definitely sort of uh, you know, record and give a demo with these. Thanks very much. See ya.